Hi, I'm Maddie Adams. And I'm Liz Adams, and you're listening to Courageously Kind, a show dedicated to inspiring courage and spreading kindness. Our hope is that these conversations spark conversations of your own, so we all can find the courage to be kind. So by the time this episode airs on streaming platforms, we will be 20 years old. What? That sounds crazy. That feels crazy. I feel like I'm 12 years old. Me too. Perpetually. (laughs) I'm never going to be older than 12. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Anyways, we thought it would be (laughs) kind of cool to sort of reflect, reflect back on 20 years, (laughs) Um, but just share with you 20 things that we have learned throughout our lives. Some of them are serious. Most of them are serious, but we did throw in some funny little silly ones to keep <laughs> the mood kind of lighthearted. Um, and I think they're important things to know. Absolutely. Sure. Silly or serious. Yes. Yeah. All important. Yeah, exactly. So let's dive into it. Here are 20 things that we have learned in our 20 years of living. <laughs> All right. We're going to try and really keep All track. Right. Number one. Anyone who was in our world history class in high school will get a kick out of this one. But real change takes time. Bonus points if you can name the teacher that said that. Oh my gosh. He would if say that like at least once a class. Yeah, he for sure. He drilled it into our brain. It was his favorite and line. And now that I'm a little bit older, I get it. I understand it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. That was a good one. Such a good one. <laughs> Number two is silly. Um, we have discovered, especially since coming to college, that life is a never-ending cycle of doing laundry and doing the dishes. Mm -hmm. You always got to eat. You always, hopefully, got to wear clothes. (laughs) So you're always going to have to be either washing your dishes or washing laundry. And it stinks, but... Yeah. yeah. I feel like if you can accept that never-ending cycle... Yeah. It's a little bit easier to handle. And for me, like, the sooner I do it, yeah. the better it is if I put it off too long. Yeah. It gets very stressful. Put on the podcast while you're folding your laundry. There you go. There you go. Go fold your laundry and keep us on. Good there job. you go. <laughs> Number three. People will flow in and out of your life. Make sure they flow out on a good note. I never thought about that before. Mm. There's so many people in my life that are not a part of my life anymore. You know, I see them on Instagram and Facebook, and you like the posts, and you comment, you do all the things. Yeah. But you want to make sure that when people are floating out of your life, they have a good, they're sent off on a good note. And it's a good, like, see you down the road, and not, like, a harsh, cold goodbye. Sometimes that happens, and it's out of our control, but if you can control it. Yeah. 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 I love that. Love that. Number four is don't forget to water your plants. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. one's pretty self-explanatory. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Number seven, not everything needs a response. Love that. I learned this a lot in my own like mental health journey, which I'm still on. Mm-hmm. Um, but not everything in your life requires a response from you. Not everything deserves a response. Sometimes it's better just be quiet, sit with it, sleep on it. Yeah. Love that. I wish I learned that earlier. Mm-hmm. And that's not life. ghosting. Yeah. You know, keep in mind that's not like never ever. Communication is important. Communication is very important. In all important. aspects. Absolutely. But you also don't always have to react yeah. to everything. Absolutely. Might be helpful to, yeah, let it sit, sleep on it, that yeah. sort of thing. Number eight is silly. <laughs> and it comes from personal experience. Number eight says, don't leave cheese sticks in your purse. <laughs> and I'm going to explain. So this summer... I was going to work, and I thought, oh, I'll throw a cheese stick in my bag. Nice little snack, right? Wrong. (laughs) I spilled a little bit of water in my bag, Mm. and the cheese stick was in there. And I left my bag in the car, and it was probably 100-plus degrees in that car. Let's just say I had to throw the bag away. The smell was so bad. I I pray that you never have to smell (laughs) warm, wet cheese stick smell. It was absolutely disgusting <laughs> so let that be a lesson if you're gonna pack a cheese stick eat it or put it in the fridge but do not keep it in your purse because it will get yucky love that <laughs> i totally totally related not related no <laughs> <laughs> it is okay to have to not have i'm gonna take it again 
Mm -hmm. On a totally unrelated note, it can be a little cheesy, but <laughs> it is okay not to have an established friend group. Mm -hmm. Your life is not a sitcom. Love that. It is not picture perfect. Mm -hmm. And if you bounce around from friend group to friend group, or if you just have a lot of different types of friends, mm -hmm. that's totally okay. Don't feel like you have to have, you know, five people that you tell everything to and no one else. Yeah. That's kind of unrealistic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for real. Going off of the friends theme for number 10, I believe we're at. Um, check in on your friends often. Mm -hmm. It's important. Even if maybe you've fallen away and you're not as close as you used to, a simple text or check in can really make a difference in somebody's life. And just letting them know that you're there to support them and, and encourage them and be there for them goes a really long way. You never know what it could do for someone. Absolutely. So important. Yeah. Next one is from another one of our favorite teachers. I feel like we were just so lucky and had incredible English teachers. We did, even yeah. now in college. Yeah. I have not had an English teacher that I didn't learn something from. Yes. So incredible. And so this English teacher used to always say this to me. I would run out with my papers and I'd be like, this is so hard. I can't do it. And he used to always tell me, if it were easy, everybody would do it. So maybe you have a special skill, a hobby, maybe you're going through something kind of tough. Um, and just know, stick with it. Get through it. It is worth getting through and sticking with. Yeah. On that sort of note, theme, vibe, um, number 12 is that it's okay to fail. Mm. It's okay to fail. One time I tried to make crab rangoons and they turned out <laughs> so bad and I was so disappointed because I was so psyched about these crab rangoons but I had no idea what I was doing and I, I failed miserably. It was so bad. We did not get to eat them. It was terrible. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> that's part of life and, you know, at the end of the day, I can just go buy crab rangoons. I don't have to learn how to make them. Mm -hmm. It won't save me that much money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> you don't have to DIY crab rangoons. No, I can just go to the, the restaurant gotcha. and get them. Yeah. Yeah. But you wouldn't have known that if you didn't fail at that. Exactly. So you had to go through it. And now I know that it's yeah. a long process for me and yeah. not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. The next one is that it is okay to leave something that you once loved because it is making you feel bad about yourself. Mm. Mm. You know, sometimes we just outgrow certain things, mm -hmm. certain seasons of our life are over. Mm -hmm. And it is okay to recognize that, acknowledge that, and try something new. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. This is one that is on my brain currently. What are we at? 16, I think? Um, <laughs> call in your prescriptions before they are due. <laughs> I have a prescription that I needed earlier this week, and I totally forgot to call it in until I ran out of said prescription um no it's not a big deal nothing is gonna it's not like it's not a prescription that like if i run out of it mm -hmm. it's gonna harm me anyway it's totally fine that i am not taking it for a few mm -hmm. days um but really a bummer on my part so let this be re your reminder <laughs> if you have to call any prescriptions <laughs> in do it right after this episode yeah especially yeah. if your mom has to then pick up and mail those prescriptions mail them to, to your you. college because you're not home and your pharmacy is an hour away. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. My third to last one. Yeah. Yeah. So Six to last. I don't know. I'm we not don't know sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's don't let the zit on your face determine the quality of your day. Mm. Mm. Love it. This was just on the brain because I do have a, a zit on my face <laughs> at the moment. And I also had a awesome day. And so I woke up saw that huge thing staring back at me, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have such a terrible day, because I have this huge zit on the corner of my nose. Yeah. But you know what? It did not matter. I had a great day, and everybody gets sets. Everybody gets sets. You're never going to remember in, like, even a month from now, that, yeah. oh, on that Tuesday, I yeah. had a zit. Like, mm -hmm. no. Yeah. I forgot that you had one until you, you <laughs> literally just mentioned it. Oh, cute. I'm being serious. I totally That's forgot. Funny. No, forget about the zit. Yeah, it's forget not worth it. it. However, if you do have a zit, and this is not sponsored, but if they want to sponsor us, they totally should. Um, pimple patches, y'all, mm. work. This is my my tip. I think we're at 
maybe this is 16. I lost track, y'all. Pimple patches work. Pimple stickers Incredible. are amazing. Whoever came up with that Incredible. deserves a prize. And I always, like, want to pop my pimples. Mm-hmm. And then I, like, scar my face. Yeah. And I, like, scratch my face. And it's yes. A mess. Pimple stickers. They're clear. You stick it on at night or in the morning or whatever, and it draws all the yucky stuff out. It's freaking amazing. You can even wear them. We really need them to foster us. We are right? cranking them up. You can even wear them during the day. They're barely noticeable. Yeah. Yeah. Pimple sticker. I don't know the actual company name. I think there's a couple. So I, any any, any one pimple of them, sticker, please sponsor us. If you make a pimple sticker, we will give you free advertising. Amen. Not free advertising. Not free. You will yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can sponsor us. Business deal. Yes. We'll let you have it. <laughs> Our next one is try not to focus on what other people might think. I feel like we all hear all the time, don't worry about what other people say. Don't think about other people's opinions. And that is a little impractical. Yeah. It's kind of natural and very common of us to think about what other people might be thinking. Mm-hmm. But try not to focus on that. Mm-hmm. And don't let that prevent you or stop you from doing something you love. <laughs> Number 18 is to do more of the things that you love. Mm-hmm. Life is too short to not find a good balance between what you have to get done and what you like to do, what you enjoy doing. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it's it's an act of defiance to take a little bit of time for mm-hmm. yourselves and do something that makes you happy. So do more of the things that make you happy. Mm, I love it. And do those things in the present moment. Yeah. Our second to last one is live in a world of what is mm-hmm. instead of what if. Mm. I struggle with this all the time. I say, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if nothing happens? But we don't live in a world of what if. We wor- live in a world of what is. It's true. It's true. And our 20th and the last little lesson that we want to <laughs> leave you with is to remember everything you're grateful for. Mm-hmm. This is something that I learned this past year. But gratitude can really help bring you out of some tough times. It can give you a little bit of hope and a little bit of love when you need it. Yeah. Just remember all the things that you are grateful for. It's so important. And a little goes a long way. So on that note, we are thankful for you so thankful for you we have been doing this podcast for two years Mm -hmm. which will equate to one tenth of our life ten percent of our lives we've been podcast hosts (laughs) and that's all because of you so thank you for listening we hope that maybe you learned something today maybe you were reminded of something today and wherever you're at in life remember we can all continue to grow together and yeah yeah have a fantastic week and we will see you back here real soon bye thank you so much for listening to this week's episode for more kindness content check out our instagram at courageously kind podcast and if you liked this episode please consider leaving us a review on apple Podcasts, and feel free to share this show with your friends take good care and we'll see you back here real soon